Hello, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be making Luke's green lightsaber, first seen in the rescue of Han from Jabba the Hutt as a silver pendant. The design is fairly straightforward and requires the use of few tools. Mostly I'll be using the lathe to profile this silver rod. Using cutting tools and files allows me to create a distinct profile of the lightsaber hilt. This triangle needle file lets me put the grooves needed for the top section of the lightsaber. As the lathe is turning, the file cuts into the silver. This gives me a section that I can then start profiling, creating each separate ring. Once I've got the profile I wanted, I use the cutting tool in the lathe to step down the diameter towards the end of the hilt. I then remove the silver from the lathe chuck and return to my bench. Back of the bench, I use a chenier vise to cut the excess silver from the rear of the hilt. This vise allows me to file a perfectly flat surface to the end of the metal as the vice itself is hard and still and my pile can't cut into it. Now that I'm happy with the length of the hilt, I go back to the needle files on the end paper to start cleaning up the surface and give a slight radius to the end of the hilt. To make the power switch section of the lightsaber I use a square bit of silver wire, cut to length and hold in my parallel priors. This allows me to profile the back side of the silver block so that it matches the curve of the silver hilt. Once I'm happy with the fit of the silver block I solder it on. Making sure that the whole piece is hot enough, I apply the silk sole to the edge allowing it to flow between the hilt and the block creating a unified piece. This is then put in the acid to clean off the flux and make it ready for the next step. The soft brass brush cleans the surface of the metal removing any parts the acid bath mist. Now that it's clean, it's time to make the bail for the chain to flow through. I filed up a rectangle of silver and soldered it to the end of the hilt. Then after it was soldered, I profiled it and drilled a hole through the centre, which I opened up using burrs and needle files. I used three different steps in polishing. This first mop uses a heavy polishing compound to smooth the majority of the surface, getting rid of the larger marks left over from the emery paper. Then onto a final bristle brush to get into the small grooves of the lightsaber. This uses the same polishing compound as the previous. And finally, a soft rouge mop. This allows for a high polish finish on the part. Once the part is finished, I can now add the chain. 